Right, so we were looking at um, uh, one of the throws that Funakoshi shows in one of his early books that disappears later on. It's dead simple. Funky comes in, handles off the side, seizes the throat, and takes the guy down. And the way we were doing it there is just a little bit of a rotation and just drop the throat. So dead simple, dead easy. Um, and pretty practical too, you know. So you're used to using that kind of enemy movement. Kick comes in from there and then straight into here and then just turf around from there. Okay. Obviously, in practice, you let go. Um, but let's play with that concept. So that's so, it. So this is you could argue, you know what I mean? So guy, you know, thumbs kick comes in from there again, boom, straight to the throat, take him over. Alright, self-defense, fighting maybe, you know. This next one is definitely for fighting. It's one that we use for playing with each other in the dojo, okay? You know, the, the enjoyment of it. Which is fine, it should be part of the study as well. Okay? The only problem is, it's one of this way that's important. Um, if, if you were to think of this as self-defense, we have a problem. Because it's not, because you're going to deliberately end up on the ground and your knee's going to hit the ground as well. So, for you and me on this map, this could work great. If we're spiraling the dojo, it could work great. If I was outside on the pavement, I dropped my knee and it can hurt. And when I hit the ground, his friends would run in and kick me in the face. So it's just a matter of knowing what's for what. So we'll do this off a roundhouse, right? So roundhouse comes in from there, when we're going to on it. You all know that basic idea, don't you? you know? So again, so the, the, the fast moving bit's the end, I'm moving from there. Right, so as he comes in through his round house from there, again, I'm just going to move it in, okay? Catching the legs, and when I've done it, I wrap that arm up underneath. I'll do the next bit slowly. Alright, so from there, again, moving in and around. Having done that, just going to move the arm to everyone can see. Uh, your balance is good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> just while I talk, I'm going to take this arm underneath. Okay, as I do that, I'm going to effectively do a shoulder throw against his knee. So I'll just do it very slowly. So it's like a dropping shoulder throw, but against the leg. Right? It's easier to move. Throws around, I'll stick in from there. Everyone remember that? And then, you know, um, worry that you might kick it with the other foot. Right, so from there, moving in. Down here. Right, that leg's the one I want to worry about. So again, from there, you can pull it back and kick it with someone. Uh, I'll be moving over to here somewhere. Uh, Self-defense wise, I wouldn't even use such a technique. So I'm looking at have a little play with it though. So the motion then, if I do a kind of, almost like a kind of version of it. Everyone okay with that? It's great as well, because everyone expects to get blocked in Yaku, so it's just fun to do. It's a surprise, but they're like, no, just do a bit of them, um, okay? Like, round out of it. Okay, so looking at the kind of throws. So we were saying before, you know, when, when any throw, the key is you get them off balance. You know, the weight over one foot. When you've got that, they're easier to throw, yeah? And the, the, if they're kicking, then they've already got all the foot on one leg, so, you know, all the weight on one foot, which is why, again, they're nice and easy to throw from those kind of uh, postures. So, following on from that last one we've got, we're just going to use a rotating motion to get in this time. So, it's very reminiscent of things you find in um, yoga and stuff like that. That's the kind of same thing. Same empty again, yeah. so it's again the throws round, yeah, I'll lift the side and the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's kind of, so, as it comes in from there, the same thing, we're just kind of moving into cup. Right, so uh, the, the bit that hits me is the kind of slow moving bit, not the fast moving bit. So I'm moving it and, and clap. And then again, we're rotating that arm up to catch the leg. Right? And then before we drop under and just do the shoulder throw thing. Right, so again, just use a right from there. And then we're there to take them over. Right? So what we're going to do this time, same thing again, as it comes in from there, I'm going to go there, and then slap the Sorry. <laughs> right? so, and then grab the back of his neck and put his head through the gap. Okay? So we'll just move this way, just so I'm certain we've got enough mat. Right, so yeah, from, from, from there again, here, and put the head through here. Like, literally stuff his head between his legs. Right, so I'll, I'll do it very gently and slowly. And again, make sure the head gets tucked in as we go around, so what you'll get is this. Okay, so that ends up, uh, up here. What I'm then going to do, for, I mean, for finish, I mean, we're just in the dojo, you could, you could stop from there. If he drops, if he used to grab me in some way, so let's say he's got a hand from there, this is now problematic. You know, because I, I want to get back up, and so what I can do is I can sit my thumbs into his eyes, right, or I can grab his ears from there, or the hair on the side of his head, I can smash the head against the ground from there. Now you see that in cat a lot, you know, maybe you see these kind of uh, takedowns and you see these downward double punches. You know, it's not a downward double punch, you're smashing his head against the neck. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, if you, you did them with one hand or the other hand, you hit them with the feet, you wouldn't punch with both hands, you know, so you see this kind of, like, bang, hitting the head against the neck. Because it's, get up, get up. 
And very sooner or later, they've got to deal with the fact that you're pulling at the hair, so they can use the hands to deal with that, which means they take the hands off you. As soon as they do that, you can get away. Okay, so um, I don't know why I like hair grabbing so much, but there's obviously something Freudian, isn't there? <laughs> Must have been, you know, I mean, a guy with long hair for us, I can't wait to grab it. Right, so I get to keep swimming from there again, back to here. Through the gap, here, back. Okay? For information purposes only. Yeah, you get, but they get the idea that's what we're doing on that kind of takedown from there. All right, so we're talking about you know, the kind of, you know, bit of brutality to finish off with. Um, if you train wise, you know, you give them a punch, it proves that you won that fight back off. If you want to, again, because if you keep the head cradled, you can push it up and then start to the strangle. And again, this would be gameplay stuff, you know what I mean? Martial arts for enjoyment of competition, if you like, you know what I mean? I don't necessarily mean competition in terms of uh, um, sporting arenas, I mean just competition, you know, you trying to beat them in the dojo kind of stuff, you know? So, um, it comes in again from there, moving from here, I've gone to there, push the head through. Now if I do it right, so I've got the head here, just push it straight up to there. As soon as you've got that, you're straight your strangles and stuff. Now if you want to, you can pull back and stick the legs in as well and kind of go to the ground, but it's from there and you can just tap when it's on. Okay, from here as well. Okay, so you can strangle him as a way of uh, thing. And you can use any strangle you want, because you end up behind him, you can choke him or you can play with him a little bit. So again, okay, kick comes in from there, again, back to here, whoop, straight onto it. Right, so again, so guide the head up and slide your body straight in so you can't lean backwards. Where this is useful as well, it means he can't kick you, he can't, he can't throw straight up. So I, I can go, um, arm in nice and deep, fold it around here. One thing you've got to watch is when you put the, if the arms are there, you can sometimes grab it too. So just be mindful of when you go in for it, you really want to keep it tight, you know. Uh, hand high on here, from there, put on the hand on the back of the head, squeeze and put it in that way. If you wanted to, if you come underneath the arm from there, take the gear and you can pull across this way and do it. You know, choke him from here. All kinds of ones. I like these ones. Okay, it's something quite satisfying. Yeah, we've that idea, so, uh, <laughs> so same thing from there, just keep it through. Fine, in through the gap, bring him up straight up to here. You can keep him this nice and tight when you come round. And then whatever one, and the most basic one is get this from there to here, squeeze and tap it down. Okay? Everyone okay with that? Yeah? Okay, play with that one then. Alright? Thank you.